Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing good. I thought I would create this video where you are able to transparent or create a transparent picture with an image that you want to put on your Google banner or picture or classroom, however way you want to do it. So the first thing you need is your image. And I thought since the craze these days is Bitmoji, we would use a Bitmoji. If you don't have a Bitmoji app, the best thing to do if you do have Facebook, you can use the Facebook avatars that are new and you can create your own there and then you can easily pick one. So I have the two that we can use. So I have, this is the Facebook avatar and then I have the Bitmoji. So we're gonna do both just to test them both out um, and you can choose however way you want to do it. I'm actually going to do a third one just to keep it interesting. So we're actually going to do the boat one just to keep it interesting. And so with this one, we want to just keep obviously the image of the bitmoji of Miss K, the boat, the row, and obviously the little waters because then it brings a little effect when it is put in a picture. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously make sure you save your image on your desktop because it's just easier to navigate and make sure you have it. And so once you have that done, you are going to double click it and it's either going to open up to preview, which is up here. Previews is these samples of it. Or if you're on a PC, it will open up on paint. Okay, so it's the same thing, same um, way to do things. It's just different programs for different computers. So if you have a MacBook, what I'm doing is what you're going to be doing, okay? So with the MacBook, obviously, on previews, I'm going to make it a little bigger so that we can all see. And create this picture as a transparent background. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on markup. So markup kind of looks like a little lunch bag or lunch box, however way you want to look at it. And then at the bottom is going to have a little sidebar or bottom bar. Once you click on the bottom bar or once it shows up, it's going to show a bunch of tools that you can use for your image. It's a way to just edit your picture. It's like a little Photoshop that you can use. Um, so with that being said, you're going to be clicking on Insta Alpha. So it's a little wand if you want to remember it like that. So you're going to click on it. Once it's blue, that means it's been highlighted and that's the tool that you'll be using. So I'm going to stress this a lot. Once you click, once you're in the actual picture of this, make sure that your mouse is sturdy. And I know that sounds weird, but make sure you're clicking on it gently and dragging very slowly because you don't want it to be really fast like this and it highlight the whole picture. That means that the whole picture is going to be transparent and I'm gonna show you how it looks. So I'm gonna click on delete, pops up with converting. You're gonna click on convert. Since you highlighted it, you highlighted the whole picture and it deletes. So please don't make that mistake. If it turns all pink, backtrack back, okay? So I'm going to be clicking Control-Z to undo pictures back. So once that happens, you are going to make sure that your tool is highlighted blue, your Insta Alpha, and you're going to go back to your picture or image. You're going to slowly click and drag very... So you notice how it's pink. Just in the background, it still leaves the white watermarks, the boat, and me. So once you see the white dotted lines on the sides and actually around the actual image that you want, that shows you where it's going to be cutting out. So I'm going to click on delete. Perfect. So you notice how it matches up with the gray, the gray background. That shows that it's transparent. There's a little issue I see. So there's still the white spots over here and over here. You don't have to change it. I'm going to because it just makes the actual image look better when it's on the Google slide. So we're going to just slowly just again, make sure you cover all the white spots, delete, 
and we're gonna do it right here too. Delete. Okay. So the next thing is now you know your picture is transparent. So you're going to click on the image name. So I'm just gonna change it and just call it Miss K. Miss K. Boat. So then it's just easier, and it's gonna show up right here converted and changed with my name so once it's been changed with the name that's how I know it's the one the copy that I wanted with the transparent background okay so enter so there it is miss K boat I'm going to close this I'm going to open one of my slides so let's just make this a little bigger just for all of us to see so we're going to use this. So my kids are learning about the provinces and territories. And so British Columbia is obviously known for their mass space of greenery and waters and lakes. And so I just thought maybe I'm sailing or boating and things like that. So I'm going to click on insert just like how you would do it with any other picture. Upload from computer. You know it's on desktop. So obviously you're going to look at the current so there it is, Miss K Boat. There I am. Open. Voila. Well, that was actually pretty good. All right. So obviously you can change the sizing and how every way you want it. But that's basically how you do it. So we're going to try with the other ones just to keep it going. So this we're going to try the Facebook one. I've actually haven't tried this one. So let's see if it's difficult or there's going to be any issues. So same thing, markup, Insta Alpha, slowly drag. Okay, so this is a little different. Okay, slowly drag. We're going to delete. Okay, so I don't like that line. So this is where it gets very, like, intricate. So then little things, like, obviously I don't have blue hair, but... We're going to try to delete this as much as possible. Oh, no. See? Went back. Delete. Yes. Okay. So, with some of these, obviously, you have the choice of just ignoring it. It's very minor. It's not a big deal. Oh, got it. I don't know why this one's not working, but we're going to try. Maybe not the shoes. Okay. Perfect. And then just right here. Perfect. And then we're going to do the hair. Oh, no. Okay. So let me show you an example of how it would look if I did this to my hair. Delete. Yeah. I look like Storm. <laughs> okay. We're going to undo this. Back again. So yes, there is times where you just have to undo and be very careful that you're clicking. And that's where like the trick is to be very careful. Okay, I got that one. This one's a little blue, but I'm okay with that. I don't have all day, if you know. And I'm pretty sure we all don't. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I think that's good enough. So, as I said, we're going to change the name. We're going to say Miss K. Not too bad. Miss K. Standing. Okay, make sure its location is obviously desktop enter okay right there we know it's been saved as how i want it transparent background so we're going to close it we are going back uh let's place miss k over here insert image upload from computer miss k standing there i am oh there it goes so obviously you're going to manipulate it, manipulate to how you want it. 
And there we go. So that's how you're able to transparent or create transparent backgrounds with any image, depending on how intricate the picture is, is obviously how much time you're going to be spending. But Bitmojis are tend, they tend to be very simple. So you wouldn't be spending much time with the first one. It took us what? Three, four minutes, and then you're able to transport it into the backgrounds. So a few of them I've done. Or me falling from somewhere. Done a few. Me mowing the grass. That would have taken me days. Me enjoying the sun. Enjoying the stampede. That one I thought was funny. There were no horses, so. But yes, other than that, um, that's the majority of how you're able to trans parent a certain picture. I hope you guys enjoyed this and please follow, subscribe and enjoy. Okay.